Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're back down in Essex with Pigeon Supremo Jeff Garrett shooting woodies over Laid Barley. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. I got a phone call from the farmer uh, to say that you've got some winter barley and the bottom bottom part of the field on the headland, uh, it got some it, some of it had gone down laid. Could I do something? Well, it's the sort of phone call that every pigeon shooter dreads. You've got to get all your gear, you've got to get out into the hide, put some decoys out and shoot some pigeons. There's not a lot of laid corn, it's just a patch all the way along this uh, headland here. But the added bonus today is that behind us um, we've got to set uh, a field of entry level wild bird uh, mix which has got a bit of clover in it and the pigeons are actually finding that as well. So we've got like a double hit really. So we're just under an old ash tree on the edge of a ditch on a grass strip. I've got 10 enforcer decoys out on the patches of uh, laid barley in front of us. I will be putting some decoys out on the uh, wild bird mix cover behind us um, as we go on. So we're all set up. The pigeons just took out the tree. Just going to land on the wires. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes. But that never budged off his flight line the whole way round it, mate. Didn't know we were here. Good sign, but you know. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, you look, 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 
One of the things that's, that will happen today is going to be a very serious case of high discipline. I'm a great believer in not shooting birds that I've got no chance of picking up. So I've got four patches of laid corn out there. I'm going to try and concentrate my birds that I shoot over the barley around these four patches so I've got more chance to pick them up around the patches and also if the birds are driven or coming towards me I can take anything that's coming towards me because the angle that they're going to be coming down is going to be coming down in the grass or on the field behind which will give me a much better rate of picking up but there's going to be a lot of birds that are going to go by today that I'm not going to shoot at because um, I just don't like shooting at stuff that I've got no chance of picking up. Yeah. Coming around, coming around here, look. Here. Come yeah, yeah. Here. here, come in here, come in here. Back, come back. Yeah. Good. Here's a classic example of why the farmers want you to go shooting on the barley. That's what the barley head should look like. And that's what it looks like after the pigeons have been on it. All the, so you've got all the barley that's been chewed off in this patch here. And if you imagine what it's like all the way through down there, through the patches of barley there, there's a lot of barley that's been chewed up by the pigeons. That's the reason why they want us to come here on the lay barley. When it's like this, they can do a huge amount of damage. Good Billy, 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 good Billy, 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 good Billy, good boy, Billy, Billy, good boy. Um, we've been here for about an hour and a half now and I've seen a nice few pigeons are floating about. It's never going to be a big day but I've seen a nice few pigeons floating about. Very restricted on what I can shoot out the front there. Uh, two reasons. One, like I said before, I don't like shooting stuff that I'm you know, not going to have any chance to pick up. Two, it's not fair on the dogs to be hunting in the barley when it's hot as this. Um, and also three, you're doing as much damage looking for pigeons as what you are, the pigeons eating the crop, so, so I'm being very restrictive, I've got about 20, um, so yeah, all in all, it's okay, we're having one or two decoying into the actual plots of laid, I'm killing quite a few, I'm alright shooting pigeons that are coming towards us, because like I say, they're going to be falling on the bare ground, so it's okay shooting those, um, so yeah, we're going to have a nice... Floater up. Out. Pardon? You've got the floater out? Yeah, we've just got the floater out, um, so uh, yeah, we're going to have an interesting afternoon. <laughs> All the cartridges are right on my nose there, it's ejected. <laughs> Thank you.
two, two left, 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 no, no, left. No, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise I was going to have to come with a box. <laughs> I won't move in. So that's the best way to pick your pigeons up. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, two. There's another two with it to the left. This one in, this one in, this one And again, and again, and again. This one here, look. Yep. Yep. Right, that's it. Uh, just going to start packing up now. Uh, the evening's sort of come on. The pigeons have sort of moved a little bit now. They, they're going to the top of the field and they're just dropping into tram lines at the top of the field now. So we've lost a bit of the flight line. Plus it's cooled down quite a bit now to when we started. So uh, it, it'll give the dogs uh, a lot bigger chance to pick some birds up when we just hunt the barley out while we're picking the, picking the rest of the decoys up. So, um, and then we'll just see what we've got. That's another day finished. Um, got 64 in here. I'm pretty certain that we haven't left many out there. Maybe one or two, probably three or four at the very most. Um, but the dogs just got it just got too much for them in the barley. Um, good day. I'm pleased with the day considering the situation. Um, the flight line just took away from us sort of three quarters of the way through the afternoon, and we're going across the top of the field. Uh, just dropping into the tram lines on the edge of the field, top of the field, 
not a lot we could do about that. I've enjoyed the day because on this place here, because of the land structure, we don't get too much laid corn. So it's just nice to get out, a bit of difference change, help the farmers protect the crops on just a little bit of laid corn that's gone down. Jeff there managing to get a bag in difficult conditions. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The wild fowling seasons have begun and Basque's chairman has spoken out on his love for the sport. He said wild fowling is one of our oldest shooting sports. Wild fowlers are renowned for being custodians of the environment and have operated sustainably for generations. The UK's largest wild fowling association has marked the occasion by appointing two new wild fowling officers. You can find an infographic all about the benefits of wild fowling at basque.org.uk. Richard Foltz has won the British Open Sporting at Oak Edge Shooting Ground. After Sunday's final, he was three targets clear at the top of the field, on 92 targets out of 100. It's the third time Foltz has won the title in his career. James Bradley Day took runner-up and Arnie Palmer was third overall. There'll be a full report in the October issue of Clay Shooting magazine. Electronic training collars for dogs will be banned in England under new legislation. Basque said an outright ban was disproportionate and the collars can be a safe and effective method for addressing serious problem behaviours, such as chasing livestock in a small number of dogs. The association said that in some cases the use of electronic collars had prevented dogs from being put down. And staying with dogs, there's a new photography competition open to celebrate working dogs in the field. Whether they're flushing birds, picking up, on peg, tracking deer, in a hide or on the marsh, the Dogs at Work competition wants to see your best photos. The winner gets a musto jacket worth £550 and the runner-up gets a Tuffy's dog bed. To enter, upload your photos at basque.org.uk slash dogs at work. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.